everyone who didn't even ask that we were Irish twins. Good morning, guys. Welcome to an unedited unedited why did i say that weird i already need to edit this vlog welcome to an unedited day in my life and to vlog week so today is monday and we are actually filming a vlog week and we're posting all of them like next week so we have five vlogs coming monday through friday i leave for nashville tomorrow we've got a good a good vlog week ahead of us okay guys this no editing thing is actually like not gonna be great but it's okay i'm challenging myself I can do this. I can do this. Anyways, it is Monday morning and I woke up. As you guys saw, I journaled and read. I'm actually officially back on The Artist Way. I'm on week six. If you guys are unfamiliar with The Artist Way or you're new to my vlogs or anything, by the way, subscribe. Hello, how are you? I'm at Dallas Live Show, November 11th. Get your tickets now because it will sell out. You just want to get them now so you can get them near your friends. If you're not coming with friends, it doesn't matter because the Geneva chat, there's so many girls who are going on. You can make friends with them there. Um, I think that's all I have to promote right now. So anyways, back to what I was saying. The Artist Way is a 12-week challenge. It's a book by Julia Cameron. And basically, for 12 weeks, you wake up every morning, you do morning pages, where you wake up and you just write through pages straight. It's so therapeutic. I've done it off and on for years. When I'm consistently doing it, I feel really clear-headed. I feel like I know myself more. I'm just more confident. I just, I, it improves your life in every, every way. And then you read a chapter each week, and then you also have a solo date that you take yourself on. So tomorrow, I'm doing my solo date in Nashville. Um, examples of solo dates I've done so far, I've gone to Leela's, which is a wine bar, and I've read at the bar, taken myself on like solo lunch dates. I do a lot of things alone just normally um, because I always like work for myself from home, so like just throughout the day I do a lot of stuff alone. So I'm trying to kind of like do other things. Like, I want to do museums, I have a lot of ideas. So, um, I'm back on that week six and I'm being strict because I was feeling better when I was doing it and then I just kind of like started traveling, I, I just, whatever, I messed it up. So we are back. Today I need to pack for Nashville, work. Um, tonight I have a work dinner at Park House, which is basically like Soho House of Dallas. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a great day. I'm on my way to meet my friend Janelle. We are going to walk the trail. It's 7.15 right now. Um, and I'm really excited. She also has a podcast to all the people. It's really incredible. Her podcast title so far, I'm like trying to think of the top of my head because I obviously can't look at my phone. One was with Bria and I'm forgetting the title of that one. The second one was like, I'm addicted to trauma or I was addicted to trauma. Third one was, I was a black woman on Wall Street. She had a black woman on Wall Street. Um, Janelle wasn't, but it's the conversation. It's, I want I'm, I like, I'm forgetting Bria's. Anyways, it's an incredible podcast. I would really, really, really recommend it. Janelle is just so cool. She's a TikTok girl too. She has a lot of like black women and luxury TikToks. She's just incredible and I love her. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking because it's already been three minutes. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Okay. Welcome to this unedited day in my life vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. It wasn't even like, oh. all right guys, I finished my walk. And I am about to head into weightlifting. I take a weightlifting class um, a couple times a week. And I really, really have been loving it. It's totally different. Normally, I do Pilates, like boxing. And I've been loving having, like, my main workout be strength training. I've been listening to podcasts about it. Really, really like it. So, I'm going to Fit Social Club. It's in Mockingbird Station. The walk was incredible. I love a morning walk, and I love a morning walk with a friend because it's so hard to see your friends, like, throughout the week whenever, like, you're working and, you know, like, getting lunch can turn into two hours, and, like, it's just a lot of time. But when you're already going on walks and you meet up with friends on walks, you get things done. You're, like, multitasking. But it's also just, like, great to start your day off with a friend and just, like, great conversations, you know? So, anyways, I'm going to walk in to weightlifting. I'm very excited. I need to take this off. I got a facial at the Thompson Spa yesterday. Got the Skin Better facial, best facial ever, and I just feel like a new woman, you know? <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, it went by so fast today. It was really tough. Like, it's really no joke, but it's a different kind of workout, and it lowers my cortisol, which is the workouts I'm looking for these days. I don't want to be, like, stressed. Um, I just love it. Okay, last thing I'm doing is I'm going to my last cryo-toning appointment at Restore. I'm doing it on my legs. 
I'll give you guys an update in like a month how I feel about it. Okay, so I just changed into this for my cryo appointment. You don't have to do this, but it's just easier when you have shorts on. And I'm doing it on the front and the back of my legs. Um, I'll give you guys an update whenever I actually finish it. Um, I feel gross. I came straight for my workout, but after this, I can like finally go home and shower. These sets, or these shorts, by the way, are so active, and they're like the most comfortable sweatshorts I've ever worn in my life. This tank top of skims are my favorite tank tops, but really cozy. I ordered myself some breakfast from Company Cafe just because I'm in a bit of a rush today. I just have a bunch of random things I need to get done and I need to pack. So this is what I got. I don't even really remember what this is. Just like a breakfast bowl. Looks great. Good morning, guys. Not good morning. What? I act like I started the vlog. It is later now. I am back from cryotoning. I have showered, done a little bit of work, and I am in cozy clothes working from home for the day. I have my robe back on. I'm just really in my cozy robe era. Um, and also, by the way, these are from the last line. I keep getting questions about it. My favorite birthday gift I've ever received. I have told this story before, but I've been to New York a few times with my friends, and I'd always said I really want these. Like, when we went in, I was always looking at them. I'm like, they're beautiful. They're just really expensive, whatever. So I, like, didn't buy them, but I always really wanted them. And I wasn't saying it in a way for, like, someone to buy them for me. I was just, like, talking about how cute they were. And then uh, my friend surprised me, and they got me these in the matching plate for my birthday. And it was the most meaningful, best gift ever. And it was, literally, I almost cried. It was just so incredible. So, anyways, I'm now wearing Skims Bottoms. This is what I mean. Every single day, I'm wearing something. At all times, I'm wearing something on my body from Skims. My underwear is Skims, too. Everything is Skims. Tank top is like Princess Polly. My robe is Versace, which is extra. I know. Um, and then my sup, my um, what are these called? My slippers are Uggs. I almost said my Suggs. My slippers are Uggs. I'm going to make iced coffee. Oh, you know what? Uh, okay, that that had to be edited just now, but that was an address thing, so that doesn't count. Okay. Anyways, I'm making some coffee, iced coffee, if you will. I listened to the Skinny Confidential podcast this morning. It had the founder of Doe Cookie Bell on, which is like one of my favorite brands. I'm so obsessed with them. It's like healthier, better for you cookie dough. I have some, I can show you guys actually right now. I have some on my fridge at all times. Um, I have quite a few. It's like these. This is Doe, what is this one? Ginger doodle. Um, really, really, really good. But anyways, gonna make coffee. And then I have some recordings to do to send in for the next two weeks of episodes because we went to five episodes a month. So I have a bonus one next week. So I need to make sure I get that sent in. Um, prep some last minute things for the episodes this week that I'm recording in Nashville. Um, and then just like a bunch of random work stuff. We have a pop-up in New York, October 15th to 16th at Abode. So I'm working on like our influencer brunch, um, like invites, just making sure everyone's RSVP'd, seeing what scarf and beanie they want, like color-wise. Um, we have our new scarves and beanies coming out on the 17th online, or if you're in New York, you can always shop them early to pop up. So just getting some work done. I'm just feeling very grateful. I'm so grateful for my life. Like, I just love the people around me. I'm just so happy. I just found out a friend of mine is pregnant, so I'm like really emotional. I'm so happy. I just like, I literally have my dream job. And I don't know, I just like love my life. And thank you guys so much for supporting me because without you guys, I wouldn't have any of this. So I have my coffee. I'm gonna stop being cheesy and annoying and I'm gonna get to work. Hope you guys are enjoying this little unedited day of my life. If you, if you guys like these, let me know because I can do these a lot more often. Oh my God. So good. Also, what iced coffee is your favorite? And what creamer for iced coffee is better? Because creamer tastes different depending on like hot or iced. Or am I crazy? Like sometimes I love a creamer in a hot coffee, but I don't love it in a cold coffee. I think Nut Pods is actually better with hot coffee. But let me know what you guys think. I love Nut Pods. That's my fave. So I think because it's fall and I love my life again, or because I'm currently redoing my rooftop, I now want to just like finish my house. I feel like I've never fully finished it and i decided i know this is crazy that i don't want that rug and i want another one there's like a brown checkered one which is like way better and i really i need to replace that rug i need to get new kitchen table chairs i've been wanting that forever i wish 
I could replace this table. I don't like really wish I do like this table a lot. Actually, I would like this with wood. But I wouldn't be mad about like a whole wood table. Um, but this is just so heavy that I'm not even going to bother with that. Oh, Coco. No, no editing, so I can't edit that. This is what I have to deal with today. Hey, Coco, what's up? Okay, anyways. Look, is someone coming to kill me? What's going on? One second, guys. I think we're better now. Anyways, um, I really want to do wallpaper in my powder room. Like, my half bath downstairs. And I want to get a new mirror. Like, that's, like, not the most expensive. I feel like I can, well, I want to find affordable wallpaper one. So, I need Jill's Rex. If anyone has, if anyone knows anything. And I'm going to replace the mirror. Just do little things like that. And then I want to get a, a rug for the kitchen. And then a rug for my closet. And then I just, like... I want to make this house feel like more cozy because for a while I was considering moving within the next year, not like moving and buying a new house here. But now I really don't want to do that and I really love my place and I want to stay here as long as possible. So I want to just do like a little refresh that makes it even cozier. I really do need to fix to switch out these drapes too because I got it when there's like a different color scheme. It needs to be like cream or taupe or something like that. I don't know. It's just so hard for me to like decide on a home vibe because I go back and forth and I switch my taste all the time so I don't know I'm trying my best listening to my coastal grandmother playlist it's not mine it's just one I found on Spotify and then I'm also about to be recording the intros for the next couple of episodes doing the ads the ads actually take a little bit longer than you'd think I always think oh, this will take 30 minutes and it, it never does so anyways oh I haven't even posted my be real you guys want to be real all right, y'all, I'm gonna be honest, moving a little bit slow today. I couldn't talk when I was recording my intros, so I ended up getting all the other computer work done, and then it, it still took me like an hour because I just, I couldn't, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it wasn't just the intros, I was recording other stuff. I don't know. You know when you're trying to talk and you just simply can't? That's how I was doing. So it is now 1.30 and I need to start packing for Nashville. These outfits um, also, not that they need to be good, but like when I'm like on camera recording, I stress about them and I make them a bigger deal than they need to be when other people wear like sweatpants, like who cares? So I'm going to chill with that and then just start getting my outfits together. But I'm like crashing right now. I'm so tired. I want a nap so bad. I'm not gonna have time for that though. So gonna start getting my stuff together, plan out some outfits, get some things together and I will feel better. Once I'm actually packed for Nashville, I might start while I'm packing the like Jeffrey Dahmer doc. I'm like starting to feel weird about watching these things just because I don't know, like morally, like I don't know. You know, all the talk about how like true crime is like bad. And it's kind of like making me like second, like overthink things. Maybe not even overthink, maybe just think normal. How do you guys feel about true crime? Let me know. Okay, time to. Start looking at some outfits. I just threw some stuff up there, so that's good. Some tags on the ground. I also need to just kind of clean this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab everything that I've been wanting to wear for fall and just see what we can do. It's not, it's only gonna be like the low. Oh, wow, I look really great right now. Um, The low or the high is like 74, so it's not like it's like super cool out, but compared to what I'm living in, it's better. All right, I just put JC's vlog on and I gathered like a ton of sweaters Easy t-shirts, a ton of jeans, random pants, active wear, a few dresses, and I'm going to bring my hokas, slides, and two pairs of cowboy boots. I feel like this is going to be a really easy dress week just because, like, it's it's just simple and I can wear sweaters, I think. We'll see what the weather is really like and what I'm feeling then, but either way, I think I'll be fine. I'm also bringing my extra Fendi bag, um, and this is just all the clothes and the shoes I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right now. Um, and then we should be good to go. That was actually really fast. That's probably the fastest I've ever packed. I need to grab pajamas and like my makeup and stuff I'll do it in the morning, but like this is the fast. Well, I guess I can do that tonight. Um, this is like the fastest I've ever packed. Something about me is that I will always have a matching pajama set. Like always. Unless I'm self tanning, then sometimes I'll wear like worn down stuff that I have reserved for tanning i have these pants also side note from parade they're like sleep lounge pants and they are so comfy i love having these also to self tan in but also just wear i will literally wear them out sometimes because wearing those pajamas just depends bringing two pairs of skims pajamas and that should be good i'm pretty much set wow that was actually like the fastest i've ever done which oh that's a candle that's falling okay 
Um, so I'm pretty much set and I'm just gonna go ahead and start packing. I need to grab my two pairs of cowboy boots. My black ones are vintage Harley. My brown ones are Miranda Lambert's line and they're incredible and I wear them all the time. And those are honestly like my two probably least expensive pairs or like more on the affordable price and they're the ones I wear all the time. So, um, I could do an entire video. I want, I'm still need to find someone to build out my cowboy boot closet in my closet room. That's like a must that needs to happen. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll wear my Chanel ballet flats too, but I feel like I'm gonna wear cowboy boots, so it's kind of like not pointless. No, I'll bring them just in case. Okay, I'm gonna, next time you guys see this, all these clothes will be packed. All right, guys, I think it's like 5 p.m. now. I hit a slump this afternoon and I was just like not mentally there, but I got work done. And like, oh my gosh unedited day of my life okay yep that's that's the one you know when you are working and it you hit like 2 p.m and you have already had two coffees which is like well actually no i had like one shot of espresso this morning and then iced coffee but screw it i'm just using my brush and then you just like can't fully function like you're you're operating at like the bare minimum that's kind of where i was at um but i finally finished up some stuff I, I just wanted to get ready or like have my like hair and makeup done and then I think I'm going to finish prepping episodes um, but I'm almost unpacking. I take it back. It's actually taking me longer to pack again but the reason I brought you guys here was because I wanted to show you guys my new favorite lip liner that I showed in a recent vlog but I don't have, I don't have the lip gloss that I wear over it so we're just going to make do for now but this is the multi-liner from Tower 28 obviously. A really big tower 28 girl like this is my favorite thing and you know it's crazy but i was like oh my god it's gonna be annoying for travel because i'm not gonna have it i have a travel one isn't that just the best thing ever i just found it in pr that means that's been sitting there in pr when it could have been changing my life you know what i mean but i'm just always afraid to like try out new skincare products sometimes so anyways i'm gonna show you guys it's like old school lip liner the physical like my mom used when i was growing up I did it all over my lip as like a base. Do you guys see that lip liner? Also, look at this. Like, this is not okay. I like can't decide if I'm gonna tan tonight or tan tomorrow. I feel like I should tan tonight and just scrub everything off. Okay, so I actually am wrong. The one that I use as my favorite color is reverse, but it's a little bit lighter than this. It's less brown, but I still really like this one. It's more so like over the color, it's like the consistency and how it all skates up also looks so messy in the background, driving me insane. It's because I'm packing. Um, and then I'm gonna use the Tower 28. I think this is like the jelly, lip jelly in XOXO, I believe. I never know what the color is, but it's just really good. Like, I love Tower 28 lip products. So I still really love this. It's like a beautiful, more brown, mauve color. Um, but my favorite one is in my purse. So I remember I'll try to show you guys in this vlog, but I've curled my hair that way it'll be like curled for tomorrow and I won't have to redo it. I always like having my hair done when I get to the airport so then I can just go. And tomorrow, um, I can't even check in until like four hours before I land. I'm having a little solo day. So actually I'm like going straight to stuff when I land. So gonna put my mascara on. And then I'm done. Also, my Jennifer Fisher hoops. These are my newest ones, the mini Samiras. And at first I thought like I was not gonna, I don't know, I was like, is this too much? Am I gonna be over this? But they're my favorite ones that I own. And they feel just right. They're chunky, but they feel just right. This is my third pair of them in like four years and they're just the best hoops ever. Feels like you're not even wearing anything in your ear. So I love them. All right, my makeup is done. Much better. And now I will resume and I'm gonna have another coffee. I have to be honest. It's not good for me. I don't always do this, but I need another coffee. Also, this sniff, the Steph Shepherd, um, like sniff club, it's so good. I've recently gotten into this Even the Rich podcast, and now I'm in the car wash. I'm running a few errands. I just dropped the dogs off for the week before I pick up Amanda. Oh, it's getting loud. Um, I'm gonna pick up Amanda and then we have a dinner for work.
I was just telling Amanda she can't say anything bad because this is an unedited day in my life vlog. Oh, I'm. Oh! Yeah. You can't crop anything. I can't crop anything. So I need you to be on your absolute best behavior. Since that's the, since you, that's the case, guys. <laughs> Do you have anything that you could contribute? Anything that you could say to the vlog that okay, would need to be so edited? Okay, so tonight we're on our way to a. What would you call this? Like a little. It's like a team dinner, but team with the dinner. whole agency yes and uh, for those who don't know amanda now works for my management so we are basically okay, I've, I've had the job though for a while kinsey's like saying uh, yeah. it and i just started well, okay yesterday. she's been there for a while but if you just are confused because amanda's a friend she also works yes now. so we're going to a dinner. It'll be really nice. I'm excited. It's at Park actually. House. So I'm excited. It is at Park House. I've actually never been. But if you're not in Dallas, it's kind of like, it's like Soho, Soho House. House. Yeah. yeah. It's Which, a great location, Highland Park Village. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. So, anyways, we're on our way now. Just listening to some relaxing music. Um, I'm a little stressed. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Amanda's a little bit stressed. So we're gonna Amanda's gonna probably pop off for a second and then uh, we'll be there. So uh, I'm gonna stop recording now because I can't edit this part out, you know? Love. She is so late for me to be out. I am, okay, I just feel like my chest is so out in this dress. And for some reason, it's like making me really uncomfortable. So anyways, um, we had a really fun dinner at Park House. We all sat and talked for like three hours. I'm so tired and I have a flight in the morning and I'm pretty much unpacking. I was gonna self-tan tonight, but I think that's gonna be a tomorrow thing. Tomorrow, actually, I'll do it tomorrow, tomorrow night. Yeah, okay. But I did want to say that we got these little like designs made of us. She did like the dress that I was wearing and then added cowboy boots. So cute. Um, this is the tag in case anyone is like interested. But how fun and cute. Anyways, um, I am going to go to bed because I'm very, very tired and uh, that's what I need to do right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. A solo day in Nashville. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.